Hi everyone, so I thought I'd record a quick video for you today. Uh, this is just going to be a demo slash review of the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in Porcelain. So for reference, my skin tone on my face is about mm, NC10, maybe a little bit lighter on my neck, which is like <laughs> really pale, is like NC0, you know, negative five. It's very, very light. So. Um, since I don't really like having to, you know, bronze my neck and whatever, um, I really rather have my face products come closer to matching my neck so that the difference between my face and my neck is a little bit less. So, um, and finding something light enough is just kind of tricky. So I had been wanting to try this Balance and Brighten for quite a while. I think I originally saw it on Emily Noel's uh, site, but like all the kits, almost all of them come with the shade medium, which is obviously way, way, way too dark for me. Uh, so I had just never gotten around to trying it out, but I had uh, some rewards from Ulta and the 20% off coupon, so that I decided to go ahead and try it out. When I initially swatched it in store, the actual um, powder, the one that I swatched had a lot of pink in it. So when I swatched it on my finger, it was a very pale pink and I was really put off by that because I do have a fair amount of redness in my face. So if I put on a really pink toned foundation, it tends to really amplify that kind of pinky red look in my face. So the one I got fortunately does not have as much pink veining. So if you are buying it in store, maybe take a peek uh, to see if the powder that you're getting is on the pink side or a little bit more on the neutral side. So I've tried out a variety of brushes. I found that the e.l.f. Uh, powder brush, this one, cult classic, everybody loves this brush, uh, works the best for me. It's quite dense, it's large. I have tried kind of smaller, more dense brushes and it was just too much of a hassle uh, having to dip back in constantly. I've tried more fluffy large brushes but then I wasn't getting really any coverage at all. This definitely has a, a light coverage. Um, you can build it a little bit and it doesn't look cakey just because it's the finish of it is a little bit shiny I would say. It's not you know shimmery but it does give you kind of a sheen kind of like the Laura Mercier uh, mineral powder same kind of thing so here it is swatched and you can see it looks pretty light so let me just show you how it works on me so I just swirl my brush in and then go to down So you can see my nose is fairly red, so I'm going to do kind of half and see if we can see the difference. I'm not sure because it is fairly bright in here. Might be getting a little washed out. We'll see. I always think the lighting is okay and then I go to edit it and realize that it's dark. <clears throat> So you can definitely see a line of demarcation, so I am getting some coverage there. And um, you can see maybe that the kind of intensity of my freckles has taken down a little bit. I do not try to cover my freckles. I quite enjoy my freckles. So I'm not looking for something full coverage, and that's why, in general, I tend to wear lighter coverage uh, foundation, just because I don't want to hide my freckles. I want to make sure that they're still visible. But I want my skin tone to be even. I want some help covering some, you know, spots. A lot of times I don't bother with concealer just because I feel that it can look sometimes more unnatural than just kind of having the spots toned down a little by my face products. So. That is just my personal preference. I do, if I am gonna cover acne, I do have a video on that using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in shade number one, and that works quite well for me. A little kind of touch up on my nose. So 
that's it. So you can see it definitely has a kind of a sheen to it, you know, just a natural looking sheen, which for me personally is a look that I've been enjoying lately, so I'm quite happy about that. I don't need to use any sort of, you know, finishing powder on top to get that kind of slight luster that I'm looking for. Um, the coverage is definitely light, possibly buildable to almost medium. Um, and when you do kind of layer it on, it still keeps a very natural looking finish. So I'll zoom in a little bit more. So you can see um, there isn't much powdery look like usually when I'm looking for powderiness, I look kind of around the little small hairs on my nose. It doesn't seem too powdery. Um, my pores, it doesn't kind of enhance the look of my pores. Um, um, yeah. It's good enough for me for everyday purposes. Really easy to apply. Uh, I do some, I have changed my skincare routine, so I've been um, adding in a little bit more exfoliation and retinol, so I do have very small amount of kind of flakiness in here on my cheeks where I'm naturally uh, a little drier than the rest of my face. So I have been adding in extra moisturizer, but in the meantime, I have had a little small amount of flakes and this doesn't accentuate it. Almost everything is going to show if you have some flakes. So it's not like this will just cover up the flakes magically, but it doesn't make them look a lot worse. Whereas if I used any sort of like liquid foundation, it would have been awful. So this I find works really quite well on any dry patches, which is really nice because especially when you have acne, a lot of times while it's healing, there will be a little bit of extra dryness and this really does not accentuate that to a huge deal, a huge amount. So I am very happy about that. So in general, I would definitely recommend this uh, if you are very pale, if you're looking for something with, you know, light plus coverage um, and you like this kind of somewhat, uh, not quite, I wouldn't go so far as saying dewy, but definitely a little bit more of the satin side of a finish. Um, and yeah, I bet you are looking for powder foundation. And I definitely would recommend trying it out with this e.l.f. powder brush, which is in the studio line. So it is $3 not a bad investment, I would say. And if you are looking for it um, online, you know, with shipping and everything, it tends to be a little expensive to order from e.l.f. if you're, well, you end up with a lot of products, I should say, when you're trying to work the deals, whatever. I would look for this brush if you are interested in Target because they do carry e.l.f. And I believe that you, if you go onto e.l.f.'s website, they'll be able to do a little store locator so you can figure out what target actually carries off. So enough about the elf brush. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so let me know if you've tried out the Balance and Brighten line, uh, what you thought of it, if it worked out for you. Um, and especially if you've tried out the Porcelain Shade, if uh, it was a good match for you, how you feel about the coverage and the finish, I would really love to hear it. I hope you are having a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.